Hey guys, Cast72, hope everyone's doing well. Um, today what I want to go over guys is um, pretty much re-thermalizing my graphics card, you know, giving it a once over. Uh, this is the Radeon RX 580 Black Edition, which basically means it's overclockable. Uh, this one's eight gigabytes of a GDDR5 um, memory. And uh, this is a 2017 model. I haven't done any, anything with it since, so I think it's just time to give it a once over. Um, it's ru running in perfect condition. I'm just doing this kind of as a preventative maintenance. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and um, disassemble it. Now in some cases, uh, the thermal units on the inside are consisting of um, thermal pads, which I don't like those, but uh, sometimes that's just what they use. You can actually see one right there. But whatever we can actually use thermal paste on, we'll go ahead and use it. If we can't, well, we can't. But anyway, we're going to open it up and see. Um, I was thinking about painting the uh, fan shields uh, white, but I do kind of like that carbon look to it as well. So I'm not sure if we'll do that. I'll, I'll think about it as I'm proceeding to do the uh, preventative maintenance on the graphics card. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. I will do time lapse, so it's not taking too much of y'all's time, and it'll be quicker um, on the video editing part of it. So let me go ahead and do that, and um, all right, let's see how this works out. Okay, guys, now that we got it all, um, you know, taken apart, uh, just make sure you keep your screws in certain sections to, so that you know what screws belong to what uh, part of the uh, graphics card. And what you have right here is the heat sink. Um, we are going to be able to put some thermal paste, thank goodness. Um, these type of pads here you can't really replace these with thermal paste because if you can look at i don't know if, the, if you can look at the side you see the difference from where the thermal paste is at it's extremely flush with the two surfaces that being the uh, cpu and the heat sink whereas if you look at the pad it's much thicker so unfortunately you have to remain with these pads the only thing you can probably do is with a um and we'll do that here in a minute with a cotton swab and some um, alcohol. Just lightly smear the top just to give it a nice cleaning. And we'll go ahead and take that off and put some uh, uh, Arctic Silver. Uh, you want to blow out the fins. Make sure the fins are not touching one another. You got to be able to um, see your hand or whatever image straight through, as you can see. And then uh, the purpose of doing this is for kind of these type of situations. If you look here, um, I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but there's some dust buildup. I don't know if you can see that. But that needs to get cleaned out because that's going to cause some overheating over time. And if you look at it at an angle, you can see right there some of the dust. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to take this and clean it out and uh, give it a good cleaning and then I'll come back. Uh, so this is your heat sink. Here's your main board and like I said we're going to go ahead and clean that um, that off off the, the CPU. We're going to clean that off and put a nice good clean layer of Arctic Silver. Um, 
give the board a nice light cleaning. Um, we'll go ahead and remount that particular pad because it kind of came off, but it's actually cockeyed. You can see where it's not totally on the chip, so we can move that over. Again, clean that up real lightly and, and the chips as well with some 90% um, denatured alcohol. All right. And then you have the back plate. Now, on the back plate, I don't, I don't know if we can paint this. I don't see how it would act as a conductive for heat dissipation uh, because it's not really connecting to the heat sink at all. So technically this is just a shield. So you, sh you, sh you should be fine painting this. Uh, just bear in mind though, there's a plastic um, layer here to protect the PCB board from getting any electrical discharge because this is metal. You know, this is this is metal. So that's kind of like a protective film. Uh, if you're gonna paint the back side of it, uh, be sure to not, not paint anything in this area here, just paint the outside of it. I'm still contemplating, guys, whether or not I wanna paint this white. Um, I think I might go ahead and do that. It just sucks because I'm gonna end up getting rid of the that logo right there. I mean, I could mask it off, I suppose. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, so that's the back side of it. And then, of course, you got your fan shield uh, and fans. Again, I might and might not paint this. We'll see how that works out. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's a uh, complete teardown. Let me go ahead and re-thermalize the uh, CPU, clean it up, clean the heat sink, and then I'll come back with the uh, with the results, then we'll put it all back together. But uh, I'm still thinking, guys, whether or not I want to paint it. So we'll see how that works out. If I do, uh, that'll be the next thing. We're going to go ahead and start painting the, uh, the back panel and the uh, fan shields uh, in white. All right, guys. Okay, guys, for the sake of time, uh, I went ahead and cleaned everything off the camera just got it all nice and shiny uh got rid of all the dust uh cleaned all the uh, chips uh readjusted this one right here because that's the one that had that little tear on it and as you can see it, it, it they uh, sparingly cut a piece enough to where it covered the remaining uh size of the chip so we got that's not going to be an issue um i went ahead and cleaned out the fin or the heat sink Made sure all the fins were cleaned. Looks really good. All that's left now is to put the uh, thermal paste and put everything back together, but I've decided to go ahead and paint the back shield and the fan guards, and that's what we're gonna do next. Um, I already took the fans off. Pretty easy, it's just three screws that hold them in place. And then there's a uh, track in which the cables run. It's pretty simple. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and go with white as I decided. Um, I didn't want to do that really because I didn't want to get rid of the the nice graphics this has, you know. The, the XFX and then that nice design. Uh, but, you know, it's my PC. Um, I'm going to make it the way I want it. And so that's why I'm going to go ahead and go along with this. So... All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and paint this next, and then, um, yeah, we'll just continue on here. After we're done painting and this has time to dry, we'll put it all back together. Okay, guys, here we are outside. I've already prepped everything. I cleaned up the uh, fan guards with denatured alcohol, gave them a real good cleaning, um, taped off whatever I didn't want uh, painted, And now we're ready to start painting. So uh, I'm glad I had some of this uh, left over from a previous project I did with my car. But I'm going to go with the Rust-Oleum High Gloss. Bonds to plastic, wood, metal, and more. Um, 
I just barely had enough. I got lucky, so hopefully we won't run out. All right, here we go. I'm kind of going to miss that carbon look, but, um, you know, carbon, the carbon look is so overrated now, guys. I mean, it's pretty much, you see it everywhere, different colors. I think this is going to come out really nice. Sorry if I'm not putting the camera where it needs to be. It's kind of hard when you're spray painting and recording at the same time. All right, guys, I'm gonna let that dry up. Probably give it one last coat. Um, you can faintly see the XFX and the design actually, so that might work out. I might not do a second coat. I'm gonna see how that dries and how it settles. Um, and you can actually still see kind of like the carbon feature, the carbon fiber feature. So yeah, that's gonna work out just fine. So, all right, guys, uh, the next part of the video will be me putting everything back together um, and then we'll finalize it with how it looks inside the PC. All right, guys. Okay, guys, it's been about, oh, I don't know. I kind of got caught up with something else. So, uh, roughly around 45 minutes. I wanted to do 30, but I got caught up with something else. The good thing about this paint is it's fast dry. So uh, we can actually go ahead and get started. Um, let me see if I can get this in some sort of a reflection because I wanted to show you that you can actually still see the uh, FX uh, X, uh, SF uh, design. So that's not too bad. I mean, it's kind of kind of camoed, but you can see it. And of course, we didn't do the inside, like I mentioned, because uh, you got that protective barrier there so that the circuitry doesn't touch the metal. Uh, and then here's the fan, the fan, uh, fan guards. So pretty cool. Looks all right to me. I like it. So let's go ahead and get it all back together, guys, and uh, see what it all comes out to look like. All right. Thank you. 